Hello there everyone, it's Kathy with Paper Phenomenon. I'm here to share a brand new project with you all. It's called the Abigail Grace Project. It's a beautiful album. It has a fantastic, brand new, exciting binding system. And I'm gonna take you through the process. Hello there everyone, it's Kathy with Paper Phenomenon and I'm bringing you a brand new project. This is called the Abigail Grace Project. First thing I want to say is that this project also comes with a regular cover. All right, I just did this uh, V cut here in the cover just to show off these pages. Uh, I have a new binding in this project and, which allows you to have these cascading pages throughout the album. So I did this cut here so you can we can show that off and we can have some fun little things that we can pull out of the top, which is always really, really nice. So it's got a great um, spine here. We've got two and a half inches. It is, oh, I've already forgot, 10 by a little over nine inches. It is a full gate uh, gatefold style. It's got a, a more bells and whistles, but I took it off just so I can really focus on the inside of this project because otherwise these videos will take forever. So anyway, Abigail Grace, Abigail Grace Project. This is the project that we're making in my Crop at Home global event, July 11th through the 13th. So we will be making this project with the regular cover um, and it's going to be fabulous. So they, I still have a few ticket spots open. If you'd like to join, the link will be down below. Is a three day live event uh, where we will be chatting and crafting and laughing via Zoom. So not only will you get to see me, but I will get to see you, which is the most exciting part of the entire uh, community event. So anyway, on to the Abigail Grace project. So I have a new binding system inspired by my hidden hinge binding system. So, and what I mean by inspired by, it is the hidden hinge plus binding system with a big fabulous twist, which allows us to create these cascading pages. You, will, you can create this binding system in any size. It is one complete piece and it is pretty fabulous. So if you look at this album, your pages, See how they cascade, they're graduating into different sizes and the hinge system is also fit accordingly. So it's pretty, pretty cool guys. I think you will all love it. I think it's a new, new binding system to add to your arsenal. For those of you who love to make your own albums, you may be able to expand on those fabulous page designs with something like this. The beauty about this is that you can mix and match it within the binding system. You don't have to make two or three different separate ones. It's one binding system and you can mix and match the height of your hinges all right so we've done this throughout the years in various different sizes in various different styles i have not done this one i think i've perfected it uh, also you can build cascading pages within your uh within your page assembly like i like to call it but your book pages will never cascade like this all right uh without a technique like this so it's a technique that you want to learn so the pages are fabulous they're easy to navigate with the wow factor for four by six photos uh, you can even fit eight by ten in here guys all right so that's the most fabulous part of this project so really fun fun page designs here beautiful pockets and tuck spots and all sorts of just goodness here that uh, allow you to tell your story guys in a fun and interesting way there's a five by seven there the paper collection is uh titled english tea party it's a paper phenomenon collection you can find it in my shop 
All right, look at that. Look at the beautiful signature cut here, my friends, matting off of the page. I take you through the process on how to do things like this in the class. So you can click on the link below for two options. You can attend the Crop at Home event, or you can buy the Abigail Grace class on its own. Either way, you can take advantage and enjoy the process of making this project. I love these undercut pages. Another fun thing about this project is that it's a top loading, top loading page, which is so, so fun. And a nice departure from the side loading, which is not a bad thing, but you know, it's something different, something different and fun to add to your crafty little techniques. So it's a fun class. You're going to love it. The paper. Oh, did I forget to mention the back pocket is this big acetate pocket here. That's for photos, but I put all of the embellishments in back here just so you can see. So you get all of these embellishments in the English Tea Party collection. All right, so check it out. English Tea Party collection. All these embellishments are in the collection. You can buy the hard copy paper pack. All right, it comes in this little booklet here in this pad form, or you can get the digital collection. Either way, you can't go wrong with this. It's really beautiful and so fun to make, my friends. The project is so fun to make. And what I love about this the most is that in the Crop at Home event, we'll get to make it together and we get to hang out. So you can pick this up again, two options. Let me know what you think about this project. The If you picked it up already and checked out the binding system, I would love to know what you think about it because I'm so excited about it and I'm going to be incorporating this technique in so many of my projects. The best part about this technique is that it crosses over to hollow hidden hinge and pop-up platform hinge. So you can cross over it onto any of the paper phenomenon binding systems, the hidden hinge, hidden hinge plus, hollow hidden hinge or pop-up platform. It works back. And once you learn how to do it, you'll see that you're like, oh, I could do this here, I could do this there, and you can pop it in any page you want, all right? Or you can customize your hinge. You can't pop it in. You gotta customize the hinge, and you'll see exactly what I mean in the class. So I hope you join me for the class either way, Abigail Grace Project alone, or in the Crop at Home event. This is Kathy with Paper Phenomenon. And until next time, I hope to see you all at the live event. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Bye-bye, everyone. I have a little PS for you all. So before the digital, uh, before our smartphones, we did selfies back in the day. This is a selfie that I took probably in my 20s, guys. That should tell you what cameras were out then, okay? And just look at how beautiful it looks with this photo. I'm gonna be 50 this year, so this is in my 20s. And I popped this photo in here and it looks so, so pretty. So I think I'm gonna find some more photos of myself and I may pop them in this album. It has nothing to do with English Tea Party, but I love the paper and I always tell you guys, you want to use a paper collection that you love, that you're going to love to look at. It doesn't have to be theme based. It just has to be something that you love. And I love this paper collection and I love this photo of me and I think it looks beautiful. Let me know what you think, guys.